Hey everyone, I know it's been a while since I've posted on this channel. Uh, good news is my move is done, but I'm not quite ready to be back to streaming and creating content regularly. But I was working with a client uh, who purchased the Ultimate Guide to Airtable. Oh, by the way, it's going to leave a discount in the description. Um, that uh, was working with a lot of CSV data. Uh, and I discovered this new functionality, which is email data to be able to sync information from a CSV that's sent via email. This is particularly useful if you're trying to bring information into Airtable from an email list that you can only download the CSVs, uh, financial transactions, and just kind of generally antiquated system. So without further ado, I really wanted to show you this. Uh, so apologies again for the silence. I will be back shortly. But let's jump right into it. All right, so let me show you how you can automatically import CSV and sync them to a table. So I'm gonna go ahead and click add table and grab a synced source from the additional sources. And we're gonna use the email data. Let's get started and that's gonna generate an email. So let me copy that email and I'm going to imagine that this is the data I want to go ahead and send. So let me download that as a CSV. I imagine from whatever, you know, kind of system you're seeking from, you can generate a CSV. I'm going to go into my email. I'm going to compose an email. I'm going to drop that download in the CSVs and I'm going to paste that email. Let's send. Let's go back into the sent just to make sure it's sent. There we go. Let's go back into transactions and in a moment it should receive that CSV and this is going to generate the structure for our table that the first time we send it over it's going to generate the different fields that we need and then we can always just send new CSVs to that email which will sync to that table let's give it a moment okay it's received our attachment so let's click next and you can see that it generates kind of fields that we need. So next we have to figure out uh, which one is our ID. And this is how Airtable is going to sync uh, new records to the existing records in our table. So what's important to understand is that this is a table sync. So every time you send over a CSV, it's going to look and try to find an ID and take the data from the CSV and update any records in this synced table. So let's go ahead and create that table. And it's going to take all of our transactions from our first CSV to create this table. Now, what happens if we have a new CSV? So let's go ahead and go back into our data here and go to the bottom. Let's add you know, some new transactions. Let's just add them at the bottom. Let's give them each a new ID. 1005, 1006, 1007, 1008, 1009. And let's take transaction number 1000 and let's make it 10,000. So again, let's download that as a CSV. And let's bring that into Airtable by composing an email, pasting, whoops, let me grab the email there and then let's bring in the CSV. Let's send. Now, one thing is that we need to go ahead and sync now. So it pulls in that CSV. Let's go to the bottom. There we go. Now that we've synced, we see that there was an update on one of our transactions. And then at the bottom, we see that we have these new transactions with our new ID. So this is an easy way to take data from a CSV and email it to Airtable. And it's perfect if you are kind of taking information from your bank or from your email list and simply want to send it over to Airtable. There are ways to automate that to auto send that email. Now, one thing that's important to know is that Airtable assumes that you are sending out the whole database, right? So automatic, each attachment contains the entire data set. So it's really important to know that if you are doing this, you always have to send all the data that you have in the existing table. So that's it. I wanted to show you this really quickly. I hope 
uh, to be back and creating content more regularly. Appreciate all the love since I've been out. And uh, yeah, glad I can share this tip with you. Have a great week, everyone. And I'll see you in the next one on this channel. Bye.